Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammad Kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim wa ala Muhammad wa majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammad Kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Muhammad wa majid Subhanakallahumma la ilma lana illa ma'alamtana illa kamtana alimu al-hakim Rabbi shrah li sadri wa istir li amri wa ahlu al-uqadatan min lisani yafahu qawli Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah, it's another time for us to continue with the book of Imam Al-Nawi alayhi rahmatullah after praising and testing that Allah intensified that no deserve to be worshipped in the heavens and on the earth except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without any partner and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's messenger and a true servant of Allah in peace the blessings be the upon him and his family and the companions and those who will follow him until the day of Qiyam will pray may Allah make us among them Yesterday or last night we were discussing about a very important hadith in our Ummah today where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam according to the narrator the one who reported the hadith May Allah be pleased with him. He said that that day Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam really takes a time, a long time talking to them. And they were feeling like it is a way to talk to someone, like someone is leaving behind him wasiya. And we know wasiya, it is usually when a person is what is leaving, is about feeling like he is going to leave this dunya. And this is at the day when we talk about Wasi is another topic but it's good that Muslims should know about it Wasi is the will it's the testament, testament right that a person leave behind him okay, a will that's what he says, a will and I think it is Ubn Umar radiallahu anhu he was stating, if I'm wrong that he never slept a sect that he put under his what? Ahead, his will. He wrote it and lived in it. So that behind him, they know what to do with his thought. Maybe someone, he has the property of someone, or someone has to give him something, something like that. See, the will. And subhanAllah, the good people before us, they, you see, you know, the father of the family, you will see two, two days or three days before he passed away, you will see him calling, he said he want to see this one. You, are, you will be surprised, why are you, you know, bother as he is far away? It's call him. Then you realize that when you call him, he come, they will talk in secret. Maybe it's the eldest one or the one whose wife among his children. Or among the people he raised, even sometimes not even his children. Allah sometimes the good people that don't even give their secret what they have between them and other people they don't tell their own children but they told some some of the children maybe is their nephew or someone you know a son or a friend that he raised that he's trustworthy sometimes your own children you know that these people these children they are evil but maybe your friend son that you raised you know he's trustworthy and he can be a leader. We know that in the family, sometimes you know this one, I don't trust him. Until it comes to the moon point where people don't have amana, in your own family, you cannot trust them with your amana. You have to call someone from outside, a friend, to take care of your stuff. And that happened to us here. Especially, you know, people who come from far away, coming here, all of us who, you know, come from different parts of the world, to look for better life here. You know, you want to have experience that when I send my property, I send my money, my family, they, you know, they took everything, they don't even do anything for me. So now it is a friend who's sometimes kind of trustworthy. Sometimes you would think a imam of your, your, your area, he, since he fear Allah, he knows Allah, he would do, but no. If you pay, don't pay attention to some, some people that you consider like imams, or 
they are like leaders who support to fear Allah the most because in Namah Yafsha Allah bin Ibad He al ulama those who know most about Allah more they support to be more fearing to Allah but because of dunya the love of this you know, the money and the, the fact that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when the time is approaching there's no toss anymore the amana will go will disappear among people of course you will you find but it's not going to be like before you understand so among your own children sometimes you know that these children i have they are evil so they don't deserve for me to give them what i have so you will have to talk to someone you toss and they do that you see them Call, call my son or call my nephew to come. Maybe his father will, but they call him or they send him a letter. Come. Your father or your uncle want to see you. Oh, what's happened? I have mission, you know, I mean mission. No, come. He wants you. Then after they talk two days later, that's it. The old man in go. And before good people, they, they, they feel it. After the Sahaba, we have a lot of, uh, you know, story regarding the Sahaba, how they depart of this, this world. This, you know, the easier one is one, is, it is even uh, Osman, you know, Rabbi, Rabbi Allah, you know, he was like, you know, come, he feel like they tell him to come, he will break his fasting over there on the heavens. We, got, we understand, he was fasting, and then they, what, they murdered him. They said, Osman, don't worry, come to us and you will break your fasting. Because he was fasting, and he was reciting Quran. Eh? Yes. So he was, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him that they will accuse him for something. It doesn't fit him. They say it is a clothes that they will put on you. It doesn't fit you, but accept it. Accept it, and you will meet us in general. Today, sometimes they will take a, a problem and they will put on you. And you, you know that it's not you. But you cannot defend yourself. You just have to leave it. And you pray your Lord. The one who is just Allah, he will judge between you and them. And subhanAllah, they say, according to the say the history, they said Usman, he was murdered and then the blood was even dropped. The place where the blood dropped, Allah is sufficient, okay, for me, between me and you, Allah is sufficient. They murdered for no reason. They killed him. And the blood was there. Until now, they say the Mus that Mus'haf is still there. And then, and then the blood is there. And they said, so, it is all that we understand that he saw that he is going to what? Break his fasting over there, over the head. His fasting, he was reading Quran, worshipping his Lord, that they come and kill him. Because of this thing. So sometimes people will try to build a problem in his story and put it on you, accusing you for something you don't know. Don't try to fight. Of course, when it comes to explaining yourself, if you need, you explain yourself. But remember, you will never convince all the people that you are what? Innocent. Those who want to accuse you, even when you bring the head of a lion to show them that you are, you are, trust, you are truthful, they will never believe you. And those who know you also, they don't need any type of your explanation. They will accept it from you. Even if they know that you made a mistake, they will forgive you and they will continue with you. Because some people, they are like flies. When they see you, the only thing they want to see is your mistake, your shortcomings. When I'm saying fly, is like those fly, even when you are clean, the place where you are wounded, that's where the fly want to, want to uh, extend. Try to what? To, you know, take advantage of that, the wound. You understand? So it's always like that. People always like that. Some people, when they come, they want to see you. Or oh, how do you dress? Maybe your pet is over your 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 elbow, or you are shaving a little of your beard. They will tell you everything. Oh, you are doing this, or you are standing like that in the prayer. That's how some people are. Don't mind them. Better yourself. Find it. Even though they say it, try to find goodness in it. Don't get mad. And continue to what? Improve yourself. So may Allah make us those who are always, you know, 
being we're not going to be judged among you know between we have to help each other and you're not going to always accuse people for something always it's you who's perfect other people are the one who's wrong you are the one who's good a good muslim always judge himself even when something happens you know for the fact that you are innocent try to find something and accusing yourself it will better you but anything that happened to you and always you just accusing people you will never see your shortcomings so may Allah make us better people so here is the hadith okay i'm saying that is the hadith uh rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam give the sahaba a sermon it was long they said when they were explained they said that day nobody has a, a, a had breakfast it took time telling them this telling this that they were like hmm. it looked like our chief is going to leave us so we have to ask him something that we will hold on he asked they asked him Fa'awsina, Ya Allah, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, give, that, give us advice, a short advice. And he said, Usikul bitaqwa Allah ya azim wa jah. I enjoy you and commend you to always have fear of Allah. Taqwa, all the time. Brothers, sisters, fear Allah everywhere you are. Because you don't know the day the angel of death will just appear to you fear Allah in public in secret in your home in your house in darkness or anyway it you have to fear Allah because this is the key for you to go to that's the real provision what does we are in this dunya to seek for what provision the provision for what for the journey that is waiting for us in front of us that's our death after our death is nothing the way we come what is it you will come to us the way you are born the way we were creating you when a baby is born no one is born with what clothes Nothing. We would all go the same thing. The reason why they put the two white pieces. Because those two white pieces, it will just disappear. In a few, you know, a month or two months, that's it. It's only your, your body. You will go to Allah the same way. But the only thing, provision you go with, the provision you go with is your top one, your actions. And any action, there is no action that is accepted except the action of those who fear Allah. Innama yataqabbalullahu minal muttaqeen. Allah only accepts from those who fear. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam urged us to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the first advice. Usaykum bitaqwa Allahi azza wa jal. And then he said what? And he said, was sana or par. We should always, when we listen to the command, we obey. Even if it is what some you know a Abyssinian person who is leading you, you should always respect and obey. And this we said you don't want to obey someone even if he if is the leader, the, the greatest leader in the disobedience of Allah. We know that. It's the Qaeda. We don't follow the creation in disobedience of what? The creator. We have to know that all the time. But ever, other than that, we should obey. We should obey a leader. It doesn't matter they used to be our slave. It doesn't matter. He's your leader today. You follow him. And he said, the most important part of the hadith that yesterday we, ex we explained, the reason why I'm repeating this because it's so important, this hadith, because this is the, uh, the place where, the point where a lot of fitness come everywhere. 
all over the place. Anyone who claims to be Muslim, that's the point where we are all fighting. We don't understand each other. He said, فَإِنَّ هُمَا يَعِشِ مِنْكُمْ فَسَيَرَى إِخْتِلَابًا كَثِيرًا Anyone amongst you will live long. Anyone amongst you, the Rasulullah is talking to the Sahaba. Today you guys are, you know, you gather together behind me like that, right? In front of me like that, like one person. Yes. So any of you who live long, you will see a lot of disputes and a lot of divisions. These people say they are the one who is right, who are right. Another people say that they are right. Those are telling that they are, they are wrong, and so on and so on. Divisions. So Ya Rasulullah is like somebody asking, Ya Rasulullah, so if we see division like that, which part should we be, you know, a part, a part of? Rasulullah SAW said, Ta'alaykum bi sunnah. When it happened like that, hold on on my wife, my way of life, my sunnah. Ta'alaykum bi sunnah. And we live that moment, brothers and sisters. Wallahi, we live in that moment. You will see an eloquent, a very educated you know, imam, Oksas. He will stand, he will stand and give you advice. But he is on the, by the door of hellfire. Like another hadith, he said, he said, Du'atun. The Quran is Du'at. They are preachers. Okay? They are ala abwaab jahannam. They stand on by the doors of what? Hellfire. They call people. Anyone who responds to them, call the fool who fear them. They will throw them in the hellfire. That's how Rasulullah said. It will be a time. People will come. They will speak. They will say, Follow Allah, follow Rasul. But they are preachers standing by the door of hellfire. If they call, they are talking to you. They are so eloquent. Eloquent. When they call you, when they call a person, then he accepts. It's like they are grabbing you and throwing you in the hellfire. There's no way you will, you will save yourself anymore. And we live in that moment. TikTok, whatever it is, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. So we should pay attention to whom we listen to. To whom we take knowledge from. To whom we follow. We should always try to always follow the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah, you know, the things you're doing, I think, did Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did it? If he doesn't have any evidence that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have done it, stay away. It doesn't matter how knowledgeable he is. We have to be careful. Because the deen is perfect. That's what Sheikh al fawzan he said. He brought the, when he explained, he said, Rasulullah Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, you know, same, and it took for like more than 20 years for Allah to complete this day to make it perfect. And then he told people the most important day during the Hajj that Al Yoma Akumat to Lakum Dina. I have completed your religion. Some something that is complete. Why we have to bring something in? And it is our Lord who told us it's completed. So we should pay attention to that. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam give us how to behave when we come across divisions. This one is saying they are right, the other one is saying they are right, and so on and so on. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alaykum bi sunnah. Hold on on my way of life. Hold on on my religion, my, my, my tradition, my sunnah. Wa sunnah al khulafa al rashidin al mahdiyyin. And also the way of my, my khulafa, those who will come, the leaders who will come behind them. And we all agree, all the Muslims agree that the, 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 the most, the main khulafa we have is those people. Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and what? And Ali. Abu Ali have been the wadi. And we should you know, hold it and stick with what? If you have a mullet, mullet, or a mullet, it's. We should pay attention, stay away from what? Invented Nara, new invented marriage in this day. In every kind of innovation, okay, newly invented matter in this day is what? Is misguidance. In another narration, 
and any misguidance will, will take a person to what? To hellfire. The premier protect us from that. So the conclusion of Sheikh, he brought himself a hadith from This hadith, this hadith is what? Is a very great hadith. Yes, 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 Tribulation, dangerous, misguidance, and what? Any kind of type of views. Because today people are, they are giving their views in, the, in the, any kind of what saying of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or the, the, the ayah. They don't take it from the Sahaba, they don't take it the explanation of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They give their own explanation. May Allah protect us from that. Wa hadha min ni'am illahi ala al-Muslimin. And this is what from the what from the favors of Allah, blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon the, uh, the Muslim and that the the road or the way to follow is has been explained, has been clear. That it is what he explained the path to them. And then until today we have the authentic, the book, the book is authentic, nothing is changed. Other people, there is corruption in their books. But our book has been preserved. He took responsibility, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he took himself the responsibility of what preserved in this book. But the other people, Allah puts upon them the responsibility of preserving it. Then, then upon them. Because he said, they must be able to do it. They are supposed to, you know, preserve it. But you know, human beings cannot preserve something 100%. They will follow their desires. That's the reason why they change. For why do little things yet to put on the table behind them? Then they say, this is from the hand of Allah. They are supposed to be able to do it. For why do little things yet to put on the table? They put their hand in the change a lot of things in the books because of this dunya. It's like today we go up, you know, it is a rich man sometimes who will build a masjid in the area. The day you want to go, you decide that even if the rich man, maybe he is what? If he is dealing with a river, the day you prepare your khutbah, they invited you in the masjid for khutbah and you prepare it for, to talk about a riba, they will ask you what is your topic. <laughs> of course, that's how they do it. They will ask you about what was the topic of your khutbah before even you deliver it to Jama. Say, so, no, I just want to talk about, about uh, riba. They say, hey, we don't talk about this here. You understand? No, it's happened. Wallah. This we see. It. A rich man will be the very nice. It's the only masjid you, you see the even the, the fan, because that time is a village. There's no electricity. You know, so you will invite one who says he will come, he wants to talk about he doesn't even know the rich man. He wants to talk about what? Ruga or Zina. If it happened that the owner is related to that and everyone know about it, they will tell the other people who will tell him. Please don't touch that topic. Yes. Alhamdulillah today it changed. Everyone is saying you know the truth. Except some people are corrupt. May Allah protect us. So you know when you know because of people you don't tell people the truth. You follow your desires. May Allah protect us from that. So the hadith, Allah make it clear. Allah preserve the Quran and the Sunnah for us. Can you imagine in the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? How I don't know if he, all of us sometimes we ask ourselves how did they get to the point where even certain saying that they said Rasulullah sallallahu said it is weak, it's fabricated hadith. Wallahi, it is very deep work. 
from this table. It's devotion. They really took their life to just study, to really realize the reality, the authenticity of every saying that they receive. That has come from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And this is from what? From the, you know, from the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Until I explained how, you know, in, in few words, how the Quran was compiled. It's not like you would just come say, oh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa told me, uh, this is how Rasulullah sallallahu told me to write it, and then he would take it and then put it in the Quran, in, in, in the Musaf. No. You have to have witnesses. When you were writing it, the time Rasulullah sallallahu told you, who was there? And this and this and this. Otherwise, they all have Quran. Majority of them, they have the entire Quran they are here. But how it is written? That's the point. So we are to make us understand and realize the beauty and the miraculous, miraculous part of our deed. Because Allah preserved it for us. Today, we are enjoying it. But we have to be careful. This is a ni'mah. It's a blessing from Allah and He will ask us about it. It's like the Quran, he said, وَإِنَّهُ لَذِكْرُ اللَّهِ In Arabic, he's saying, لَشَرَفُ اللَّهِ وَلِقَوْمِكَ وَسَوْفَ تُسْأَلُونَ This Quran, it is sharp. It is an honor for you and your people, your people, your ummah. But you have to know that Allah will ask you, I will ask you about that favor. That's sharp, that's honor that I gave you, this Quran. So, وَأَبْقَى بِهِمْ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَسُنَّةَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ أَبْقَى الْكِتَابِ وَسُنَّةَ بِعَيْدِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ رَحْمَةً مِنْ This is from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He preserved this deed for us. Through the sunnah and through the book. It is not corrupted. Nothing escaped. وَلَمْ يَتْوُكْهُمْ يَتَحَبَّتُونَ فِي الْآرَى وَالْأَحْهَمْ وَالْأَحْتَارْ كَمَا كَانَ حَالُ الْأُمَمِ السَّابِقَ Allah not just leave us like that, everybody will just bring their opinions, their views. And then we will differ different way. You see the other people before us, that's how that's what happened. When you go, it's not every church that you every, every Christian has to go to their proper church. You see a person from Brooklyn who will travel all the way to the Bronx to go to their church. So what happened to the church next to your house? It's not my church. But you Muslim, you go to China, you hear Allah, you don't even ask, you go, you enter. Unless when you enter, you see the white thing and then, then you run away. Or sometimes you just go in the, head, in the right side and then pray and then you run. But now, Hayyad al is the same thing. Hayyad al is the same thing. How beautiful, how beautiful your deen is. When you say, what a in, everybody say, in Ali. When you go to the Japanese, they say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbul Alameen. We go everywhere, we have the ID. Our identity is the same. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Even the one who doesn't even know how Alif look like, he say Alif, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. That's our identity. So, if a person is guided to Islam and then later on, they deviate, may Allah protect us from that. I don't see, I don't know what kind of Thing they see other than Islam, then that will, you know, push them to what to deviate and leave Islam. No matter how bad you are in the deen, Allah hold on, on la ilaha illallah. Because anyone who stay on la ilaha illallah, it doesn't matter how how many times you have seen 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 him. At the end, you will end to to to, to jannah. May Allah grant us jannah, but without any punishment, and we have to wait for that. So may Allah save us from anything that will lead the anger of Allah upon us. So the next hadith is hadith Attasi wa Ishroon. Al Ma'ad bin Jabal. Radi Allah anu qala qultu ya Rasulullah khudni bi amal yudhikhulu lil jannah or yudhikhulu lil jannah or yuba'idu ni anil nar. Qal, laqal sa'alta ni an azim wa innahu la yasirun ala man yinsaruhu Allah alayhi. تعبد الله ولا تشرك به شيئا وتقيم الصلاة وتؤتي الزكاة وتصوم رمضان وتحج البيت ثم قال ألا أدلك على أبواب الخير الصوم جنة والصدقة تكفي الخطيئة 
فما يطفئ الماء النار وصلاة الرجل من جوف الليل قال ثم تلا تتجافى جنوبهم عن المضاجع حتى بلغ يعملون ثم قال أنا أخبرك برأس الأمر كله وعموده وذير والسنامه قلت بلى يا رسول الله قال رأس الأمر الإسلام وعموده الصلاة وذير والسنامه الجهاد ثم قال أنا أخبرك بملاك ذلك كله قلت بلى يا رسول الله يا نبي الله فأخذ بلسانه فقال كف عليك هذا فقلت يا نبي الله وإنا لم آخذون بما نتكلم به فقال سبيلتك أمك يا معاد وهل يقب الناس في النار على وجوههم أو على مناخرهم إلا حصائد أنسنتهم رواه ترمذي وقال حديث حسن الصحيح This is another hadith, very heavy hadith that was reported uh, it is on the authority of Ma'ad bin Jabal, we know the Sahabi Ma'ad bin Jabal it is the Sahab through whom we have the dua that we say during the prayer Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husn ibadati because he called him Ya Ma'ad he said Labbaika Ya Rasulullah and then Rasulullah said to him Inni kumbuka billah I love you for the sake of Allah. So this is another hadith. But don't let your prayer, don't finish your prayer unless you say this dua. Allahumma, Ya Allah, a'inni ala dhikri. Assist me, support me, help me, aid me so that I remember you the most time, most of my time. Wa shukrika, Ya Allah, help me so that I'm being grateful to you. Wa husni ibadatik, Ya Allah, help me so that I can perform the perfect way of action of worship, act of worship. So this is the, the Sahaba, he reported this hadith, and then he said, he came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then he asked him, Ya Rasulullah, O oh, Messenger of Allah, akhbir me, tell me, or oh, give me advice, tell me about a deed by which I will gain interest to paradise, and then I will be saved from what? From the fire. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you have indeed asked ask about what an important matter, which is only easy for the one for whom Allah makes it easy. And we pray may Allah make it easy for us. This question of entering Jannah and being saved from, death, from hellfire of Allah it is it's not easy. We have to understand that. That's what I always say that people think it is worshiping Allah or getting to Jannah is easy. It's not easy. Don't let people put in your mind. It is fighting and fighting. It's what you do. You should always try. When he said, it was the Eid of the Sabbath was Salah. Even the prayer. It is heavy, it's hard. And he said, of course, Allah will crush me. I said, for those who attain what? For sure. So everything is hard. It's not easy. حفظة الجنة بالمتاره The Jannah has been surrounded by what? The, 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 the desires Things that we dislike Now, things that we matari Things that we don't want وحفظة النار بالشهوات And things that we want Our, our uh, you know, desire want That's how that is surrounded by what? Hellfire So we have to be careful This thing is not that easy because some people come so, oh, you guys are making this because the deal is easy. And of course, it's not the way we think. Wallah, it's not the way we think. You think, you know, waking up for Fajr is easy? Coming every time in the prayer, you are at your job, especially during winter, and just every blink of eyes, you are, you are going to pray. You look at your, you know, your people you work with, they look at you differently. But you have to fight that. You go to the restroom sometimes to do do, you have to make sure that you don't pour water on the floor so that you don't complain. And this is easy? Well, no, it's not easy. You have to go to the restroom and pray. Sometimes you will come, the imam will take you long, 15 minutes, and you double tap. Taking like 10,000 to go to Hajj. That 10,000 you can make it on your business. You can go anywhere you want. Fasting. 8, 10, 12 hours. Zakat, that you have worked hard. They say you have to take it and, and 
give me. We use the rest in the it's like that. Now I'm not saying to give me to me. They said to give to the eight people that we all know. <laughs> if I am among them, then you bring to me, inshallah. So it's not easy. Sisters, they have to cover A to Z. And you think you will tell people, oh, Islam is easy? No. We don't gonna say that it's easy then. Well, it's not easy. That's what he's saying. He is telling Amman, he said, When the Hala Yasiri Allah by Yasar Hulahani. It's going to be easy for the one Allah make easy. And we pray that Allah make easy for us. It is only Allah who make easy for us. Because who are you to wake up after you just sleep at 12 and then they say 3 o'clock it is fajr. That's the moment you cover yourself with your blanket. And then you will have to go. Sometimes you go to the restroom while your eyes are closed. You will go your head, will hit, will hit what? The door. And you and you, someone will come tell you that the deal is easy, you will accept that? No. Because if the thing is easy, then you're not gonna work hard, you're not gonna fight. Shaitan will overpower you. It's like you want to carry something. When you know it is easy, you, you will seek help from some people. And this deal, the one who will help us is who? Is Allah. The reason why we have Iyad and Abudu, we are going to so no one should foolish us that the deal is easy. It's not. It's not. You have to fight your desires. Doubtful matters. Today everybody is buying any kind of business. You, when you open the, your business, like the daily or whatever it is, you don't have alcohol, it doesn't sell. You don't have smoke stock, it doesn't sell like the way it's supposed to. But since you are Muslim, you fight. Other people are putting it, you say, no, I fear Allah. The same one will come to you that Islam is easy? No, it's not. It's not. Inshallah, we'll continue, inshallah, next week. <laughs> inshallah, with this hadith. And inshallah, it is how we learn the deen, and then later on, Allah will make it easy for us. Because with the more we know about it, the easier it will become for us, and then Allah will make it easy for us. May Allah make us and the people of Jannah, and make it a way for us, easy for us, inshallah. All of us in our family. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتقبل منا إنك التواب الرحيم سبحان الله وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. الحمد لله